With the way we've started streaming all of our music on the internet, you start to just assume that no song is out of reach. Thanks to the file sharing forefather of the internet, Napster, there are just like whole communities built around sharing and curating songs. And when you can create an infinite amount of copies of something, you just start to assume that a song you want to listen to is out there somewhere. So, one day, my friend Resiree sends me this link and says it's the greatest mashup song she's ever heard. Smash Mouth's All-Star combined with Cisco's Thong Song. It sounds promising, but the link she gives me leads to nothing. The song's been taken down for some reason, but Resiree is dedicated to making sure I hear this masterpiece, so she's gonna hunt the song down. YouTube took it down for copyright infringement, but she knows the creator has several other accounts across the internet, so the journey begins. She heads to SoundCloud. It's down. Bandcamp. It's down. Resiree starts to think that maybe the song was too good, and now Smash Mouth and Cisco are trying to wipe its existence from the internet. So she stops checking the streaming sites and starts to ask around on online communities. Mashup subreddits, 4chan's music board, torrent sites. Someone had to have heard it. Someone had to have saved it. Resri was not letting this track go. She had exhausted all of her options at this point, except for one. It was a desperate move, pretty stalkerish too. She was going to try and find the musician on a social network. They hadn't uploaded any songs or answered any mail on their music accounts for months, so her last shot was to track them down on their personal account and see if she'd get her hands on the song from the source itself. And through a shameful amount of digging, she eventually found their Facebook. It was going to be a pretty embarrassing exchange, but she had come this far. She wasn't going to turn back now. But when she got to the Facebook page, all she found was a memorial and tributes for the musician's loved ones. Turned out the reason they had stopped posting their music and answering messages was because they were in a car crash 14 months ago. Resri's journey had come to an end. She left a message of thanks, then left to preserve what was left of the musician's catalog. She told me she saves all of her favorite songs on her hard drive now. You never know when will be the last time you hear a song, so always keep the ones you love close by.